Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel Code with Arohi. So in this video, I'll show you the practical implementation of style gans. So guys, in my previous video, I have explained you what are style gans and how style gans are different from traditional GAN network, right? So if you are directly checking this video, so I'll recommend you to you know go to that video first and understand the concept like what is style GAN because then only you'll understand the coding part like which block of code why we are using that particular block of code for which particular functionality if you want to understand that thing so go through that video first right so the link is given in description section check that video and then come back to this video and in my today's video i'll show you the implementation of style GAN. So, as we know, like StyleGAN is an open source project by NVIDIA. So, NVIDIA have provided the GitHub repository. We are going to use their repo, right? And we'll understand the code today, right? Today, I'm telling you, I'm showing you how to implement StyleGAN by using NVIDIA's uh, GitHub repository, right? But in my next classes, we will try to work on custom data set, but Today we are going to understand the implementation of StyleGAN which is uh, you know provided by this NVIDIA right. So this is the GitHub repository of NVIDIA from where I'm picking the code right. So uh, I'll show you how to implement it. So the very first thing is the data set which we are using for uh, this uh, for today's classes this Flickr faces uh, HQ data set right so this data set is available on Kaggle also right so this is a link you can see so this data set have 52,000 high quality you know PNG images with a resolution of 512 into 512 right so this data set we are using in our today's class and what we are doing is so uh, the nvidia already you know uh, um, worked on this so they have a pre-trained model so that pre-trained model was trained on this Flickr faces data set. So what we are going to do is there is no need to download this data set or so right because what we are going to do is we'll uh, download their weight, we'll download that pre-trained model and we'll use that pre-trained model right. So as I've uh, told you earlier also in my upcoming videos I'll show you how to download them, how to work on your custom data set but today what we are doing is we are downloading the pre-trained weights with uh, which pre-trained network we are using the pre-trained network which is trained on this particular data set okay so this we are going to do today and the very first thing which you need to do is i have commented it so you can uncomment it and you have to download you have to clone this github repository which repo i'm talking about over here is the, this repo which I have told you like this project is uh, by NVIDIA and NVIDIA have provided the code so we'll use that right this is the github repository which you need to um, clone so that's what I'm doing over here the very first step is cloning their github repository once you clone their github repository you will get a style GAN folder in your current working directory let me open my current working directory and I'll show you okay Okay, so yeah, over here. So you'll get this folder, style gun folder, right? Now, once you clone the repository and you have entered that um, style gun folder, the next thing is, guys, this is again very important because uh, I have mentioned over here you need TensorFlow uh 1.15 or tensorflow 1.40 okay so this code will work on this particular tensorflow version and see uh, so if you are using gpu then you will install tensorflow gpu and a version would be 1.15 and if you are working on cpu then you will install this tensorflow like this using this command particular command and i'm using 
pip of this version so now why i'm using pip of this version because uh, see the new newer version of pip has some dependency resolver you know they have introduced one functionality of dependency resolver so uh, due to which what happen is sometime it create problems it will not install some of your packages which you need for this code but and if you're using the latest version of pip so it will show you some sort of errors or warning like uh, this particular uh, module is not com compatible with this version these kind of things will be there so what i have done is i have upgraded my pip to this particular version so in this version they they don't have that dependency resolver sort of thing so that's why i'm using this version okay so this is optional you can see uh, whether you want to uh, do this pip thing or not but tensorflow is important you need to use tensorflow 1.14 on 1.15 okay so install these things after that once you install it over here i'm just checking after installing my tensorflow gpu version i'm just checking whether my uh, that gpu is getting reflected over here or not so yes my gpu uh, device is this device okay now what we are going to do is we will load the generator now right so guys i've told you uh, in my previous videos that in every gan network there are two important component one is generator and other one is discriminator so right now i'm talking about generator because what we want is we want to generate the fake faces okay guys uh, let me tell you what we are going to do today so our task is to generate fake faces right so and to generate fake faces our algorithm will our algorithm is working on which pretrained network the pretrained network which is trained on this particular data set right so what is our task our task is to generate fake faces okay so over here these are the important packages we have imported all those packages and after that you can see over here this is the path um, this is the path of our this particular this is a pickle file this is basically a pre trained network and you can find that pre trained network at this google drive location right and in next line what we are doing is we are just reading the data from this particular url and then we are loading that model and we are loading loading that model in three different variable you can see these three variables over here so guys you have to only take care of you have to only you know um, we have to work on this js variable rest two you can ignore right now right because we are not going to do any functionality on these two variables what we need is this js is important because this js is a generator this js is containing a code for generator and we will uh, generate fake faces using this js variable okay because this is having a code of generator all right so now in next line over here so what we are doing over here is we are just picking a latent vector so guys if you remember from my previous videos you what we does is so we have a mapping network so mapping network will get a latent vector of which size this right uh, one dimensional vector of size uh, this 5 and 2 so we are talking about that latent vector over here right and and remember one thing this 400 you can right now i'm using this random state as 400 you can change the value of random state and every time you'll change the value of random state you will get a different image in the different um, image will get generated okay so um, this is what under latents what we are doing is this one this one and this is the gs Uh, remember above we have loaded our data into three variable and gs is for generator right so that generator dot input shape okay so we what we are use, doing over here is we are picking a latent vector right once you done that and i have already told you that you can change the random state and every time we'll change the random state you will get a different generated image okay 
Now over here in this cell we are going to generate the image right so for that what we are doing is in this images variable we are calling that gs right uh, the um, uh, above we have loaded the data into three variable and i've told you to ignore the two variable and gs is important because uh, this is having a code for generator so what we are doing is we are running the generator and generator is getting um, initially at the very first step generator will get the latent vector right so that latent vector is stored in this variable so we are doing that and these are the other parameters and one more important thing to know over here is this truncation underscore psi the value is 0 0.7 over here so this value simply means um, how much change you want in the generated image right so initially we always start with the value of 0 0.7 but this value uh, in nvidia paper they have nvidia um, team have mentioned that you can vary this value between uh, you know minus 1 to plus 1 means let's say uh, over here you have written 0 0.7 right now once you run the code if you want to see what will happen if you uh, you know choose let's suppose you choose uh, this minus 0 0.5 then what what kind of generated image you will get right and then try to change this value to 0 0.5 or 1 or minus 1 or 0 0.7 or something like this means you can change this truncation psi value and if you'll change this truncation psi value what will happen is this simply means how far you want your generated image from your real image right real, real image simply means the image from your data set and the fake image generated image is the um, image which generator will generate so by changing this value you can uh, you know you can um, tell how much uh, how much you want your actual real image and the generated image how far you want uh, means how much difference you want in between those two images right so uh, let's suppose okay so you can put other values also let's say you can put uh, this truncation psi you can put three over here four over here but what will happen if you'll you know put this truncation psi to three or four or five what will happen that simply means the generated image will be too far from your real image and it will give you a strange results right so that's why um try to start with 0 0.7 truncation psi and uh, play around with the values between minus 1 to plus 1 in in your this truncation psi all right so we are running our generator and now after that over here what we are doing is we are basically now we want to store that uh, generated image somewhere the image which generator has generated we want to store that image somewhere so for that what we are doing is we want to create image with the name of this you can change it you can give any other name to it right so um, we want to generate the, uh, save the image so uh, these three lines will help you out in so uh, you know saving that image when you save once you save the image now let's say you want to see the results you want to see the output of generator you want to see the fake image generated by the generator right then using this you can see what we are doing is we are simply converting the image into array and then using this pal module and matplot module we are plotting the image so you can see the image over here right so this is the image now you can download this image if you want using this code okay once you execute this command this image you can see over here let me open this image you can see that result is uh, downloaded in a computer right so this is how you can you know generate how you can use stylegan network to generate fake faces and uh, now let's say if you want to change 
let me change the value of random state as i've told you like you'll get different results and let's change the value of transact this um, uh, psi value truncation psi value and see what kind of results we get right so let me go to my uh, google colab notebook so over here uh, let's change the value so right now which image we are getting we are getting this image all right so now let me change the random state first of all so random state is 400 right now let's change it to 240 and rerun our code whole code okay and let's see what we get See guys on uh, this uh, Google Colab also I have upgraded the pip to this version right and I'm using the TensorFlow GPU once you install everything and here we are running our code and we have changed the random state to 240 right so let's see now this time you can see we are getting different image right so this is what i have told you to change the random state and you will get different results now on this image only let's see and the results got downloaded using this code now let's change the value of truncation psi and see right now this is the image okay so now let's change the value of 0.7 over here let's make it 1 and see Okay. You can see, right? You you got some changes in this image. Earlier image was different. Now let's again change the truncation psi. Okay. So this time, if you want to compare the results, we can open these two images, right? Uh, this is the image which we get after changing the truncation psi. and previously this was the image right so this is the new image after changing the truncation psi and this was the image with truncation psi 0.7 and this is with the truncation psi um 1 right guys so uh, this is how you can uh, you know um use the style gan right so guys today i've just shown you uh, how to use the style gan network how to generate the fake faces and again i'm uh, i have told you we are using this style gan repo right so to use it so guys i have given the link of you will get a github repo from here but you will get the jupiter notebook this jupiter notebook which i have written so uh, the link is given in description section you can you know uh, get this uh, um, jupiter notebook from there and you can try it in next in my next video we will see uh, you know how to work on your custom data set using style gan networks how to create your own um, style gan network right because today what we have done is we have just used the pre trained network and we have just uh, see uh, we just saw like how to create fake faces using the nvidia model which they have trained on you know that uh, flicker faces data set and we have generated the fake faces next time i'll show you the whole process like how to uh, train your own model and how to test your model Right. So guys that's it if you like my video then please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching